Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide here in Osaka, Japan in the Sinsaibashi neighborhood and I'm about to do some record hunting at Time Bomb Records. This looks like a real good one, peoples. So uh, let's go downstairs and check it out, shall we? We shall. Now this is a record store, Time Bomb Records. Right in the front door you have all the uh, discount stuff or some of the new arrivals. Uh, and here's the stuff that they're trying to move. Uh, old stock, half off price. And there's some great deals in here. Right off the bat we see some Fugs and some Zappa. And uh, oh, stuff that is just, and these are, these are good prices. These boxes right here are some gold. I found a Screamin' Jay Hawkins in here. Uh, which uh, was uh, was an incredible price here. Oh my God, Rock and Roll Animal for about eleven dollars. So that's the uh, type of deals you're going to find here. All right, but that's just the beginning. Let's move past the CDs into the seven inches. Look at there. Look at there. Oh, but while you're there, don't forget to look up. There are lots of uh, collectibles up here uh, that uh, you know I I didn't actually notice for about the first. 30 minutes I was digging in here. Uh, more 7 inches. Da -da 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 -da. 7 inches. Here's some. Oh my goodness. 17 bucks. Here is. A, oh, this is one of the ones with the flaming lips. Sorry. Um, uh, all right. Soul, Funk, Stevie Wonder, Stax, Volt, Northern Soul, Ray Charles, Johnny Otis. All that good stuff. Oh, here's a little Richard. About 180 bucks, but apparently it uh, it's worth it. Uh, is it? Well, it is to somebody, I guess. That's what they're pricing it at. Oh, Screaming Jay Hawkins. Oh my goodness. Promo of Screaming Jay Hawkins. Not just one, but two. Oh man. Wow. Now, check this section out here. Use jazz, doo wop. Pink Floyd. Oh, here's the reissue stuff. These are all the reissue things. Here's all the blues. Bo Diddley. All the soul. Sam Cooke. And uh, and that is just this particular. Here's the, the, the rock section over here. You see Thin Lizzy. Ozzy. There's some collectibles on the wall. There's more collectibles up here. There's that T-Bone Walker looking pretty good here. And here is... Continuing some of the reissues here with, uh, what is this? Are these all reissues? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, they all seem to be reissues. Okay. Here's all the used stuff here. Ah, oh, Rufus Thomas. Yeah, 68 bucks. It's a little bit pricey here. What we found is the prices here in the back section are a bit high, all right? Uh, but look, you're in Osaka, Japan, you know? This stuff isn't all over the place, so... You'll pay for the privilege if you want to take one of these home. Uh, all right. Having said that, I did find some really good deals on a couple of things, uh, which I am going to take home. Now, before we get going out of this shop, let me show you the other section, the punk section. Punk and hardcore, actually. All right. This section of the shop is just as big as the other one. And uh, just as varied. Here's the hardcore section here. Uh, this is the metal, metal stuff that I don't know a whole lot about. So I will uh, not get into that discussion. Here we go. Here's some old stock, half price of stuff. Some Ramones. Runaways. Sex pistols. A lot of pistols. In here, uh, saw some dead Kennedys in here. There's some germs. We were looking for. Uh, there was some clash. All right. Let's go over to this side. Used or bargain. All right. What kind of stuff. Fugazi. About 23 bucks. There's demos. Red Medicine, about 23 bucks. Uh, ska, there's some Japanese artists. Easy 
you guys recognize some of them before I do. But lots of t-shirts, I should say. So, some goodness. Lots of CDs back here. Here's the rare and used hardcore section right here at the top. And Black Flag. About 15 bucks. <laughs> Misfits for about 18 bucks. Uh, you guys probably recognize some of these. Total Chaos for, uh, for about 12 bucks. Uh, original LP with insert from Epitaph. Ooh, look at the hair on those boys. All right, 12 bucks for that one. Um, now let's head to the back section. Now here, here you will find a heap of seven inches. Japanese hardcore. Eighties punk. XTC. Uh, did they have the mayor of Simpleton? That is my favorite song by them. Ugh. Doesn't look like it right now. All right. And this is a seven inch section. Another uh, bunch of uh, stock that they're trying to move. Uh, this one's particularly good. Devo, US pressing, USLP, duty now for the future, 1,000 yen. So um, that looks like a pretty good buy. Grab that one. Um, all right, used alternative, used 80s, new wave. I'm not sure how they're categorizing them all, but uh, I guess they know what they're doing here. Uh, and then in the back here, you've got Power Pop. Um, and on the back wall, you've got some of the more collectibles. Uh, original pressing of uh, television. Oh that's, a, oh, that's a UK Electra Butterfly for about 100 bucks. Here's a UK Adventure for about 88. Um, let's see, Buzzcocks, The Damned. Uh, they've got, is that a UK? No, that's a Belgium. And that's a reissue. Here is a Canada first press, so never mind the Bullocks. I had some UK first pressings in here. Uh, when we looked in the this bit here, so, oh, that's a France first press. Ah, anyway, uh, and what else do we have here? Let's just give you a little bit of a view. All right, so there you go. And then there's some collectible seven inches on the back wall. So this place is just full of records. If you get the opportunity, you gotta make it over here to Time Bomb Records in. Uh, in Osaka, Japan. It is pretty incredible and you can spend hours in here looking around for stuff and probably going home with an armful of stuff. So that's it. Uh, for The Vinyl Guide, this is Nate. You can always reach me, Nate, N-A-T-E, at thevinylguide.com. Subscribe to the podcast, www.thevinylguide.com, or look for us on iTunes. And of course, join our Facebook page, facebook.com slash vinylguide. Until we talk next time, keep spinning. Cheers.